Here is exactly what happens if our new interstellar visitor, Comet 3i Atlas, decided to pull a U-turn and slam into Earth. So, the problem isn't just the size, it's the speedometer. Because 3i Atlas fell from outside our solar system, it's moving at about 136,000 miles per hour. That is three times faster than the rock that killed the dinosaurs. At that speed, the atmosphere literally cannot move out of the way. The air molecules trapped in front of the comet get crushed so violently that they fuse into a layer of plasma hotter than the surface of the Sunday. In the 0.2 seconds it takes to punch through the atmosphere, the comet doesn't burn up. It flashes into a column of pure, radiant heat that would set forests on fire before the rock even touched the ground. But, uh, here's the kicker. The impact energy scales with speed squared. So even though 3i is only a few kilometers wide, hitting us at interstellar speeds turns it into a planet killer. The collision wouldn't just make a crater, it would punch a hole in the crust so deep that Earth's mantle would splash upwards like water in a toilet bowl. Here's the reality anchor. We saw a baby version of this with Shoemaker Levy 9 in 1994. That comet hit Jupiter, and even though Jupiter is made of gas, the scars from the impact were the size of Earth and lasted for months. If 3i hit us, it would kick up enough dust to block the sun for a decade. So, yeah. We'd survive the hit, but we probably wouldn't survive the grocery prices during a 10-year winter.